What you see here is the Omron E3X HD fiber optic amplifier and the E32 fiber optic head. The great thing about fiber optics is that once you learn how to use the fiber optic amplifier, that will work with hundreds of different fiber head options. What you see is the diffuse threaded version right here, but we also offer high temperature resistant, liquid level, chemical resistant, and various shapes of sensing heads. Today we're going to talk about the basics of fibers and also about the basic setup for calibration. First, let's take a look at how to get set up. The E3X HD amplifier is DIN rail mountable. So you can see here's where the DIN rail mount option is, and then that's the clip. It actually slides back and forth. So you want to make sure that when you mount it, you're going to put that end down first, push it to the left, and then just pop this end on by pushing straight down. So I'll show you again. Now the amplifier is mounted on the DIN rail. With the sensor heads, as I mentioned, there's hundreds of different options, but they're all going to have two ends. One is the emitter and one is the receiver. So if we look at the amplifier, you have the emitter option and the receiver option in the amp. So when we set this up, we want to make sure we're plugging in one of these to the emitter, one to the receiver, and then you have a lock option here that you always want to make sure you clip down. You'll know that it's locked because these are secure and because the lid can actually close. I now have the fiber optic head mounted. You can see there's a clamp up here with it clamped in and the beam spot is down on the table. Keep in mind the fiber amplifier is actually going to hold the emitter and the receiver. So the light is traveling from the amplifier through the fiber optic cable out the head. And then once the light bounces off of the table or your target, it's going to go back up through the fiber optic cable to the amplifier. So really the amp is going to be the brains of the operation.